How to communicate your offer so that you attract more clients. And what to say when someone asks you about what you do or about your business. And what to say, what to write on your web page, landing page, sales page, or about me page. Those are the things we're going to talk about today. If you are struggling with your niche statement, if you're struggling with what to say when someone asks you about what you do, this video is for you. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help coaches and online entrepreneurs plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media or tech burnout. In today's video, I'm talking about your niche statement or how you communicate your offer so that you're attracting more leads. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I see so many new entrepreneurs or coaches struggle with their niche statement and, and, and hesitate with the answer when they're asked about what they do. So that's why today I wanna give you three tips about how you can communicate your offer in a way where it attracts leads and in a way it, 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 it creates a desire of your leads to work with you. First tip, be clear, not clever. Don't try to think, overthink, um, what would uh, make it sound awesome? What would make everybody wanna want this? Uh, what would get more people in you know, into my offer. Remember, you're not trying to get people. You are trying to get your ideal clients. So, don't think about giving them the whole world. Don't think, think about giving them the, their best life. Everybody is different. So, be very clear. Be specific about what they're getting um, if they were to work with you. Be specific about what you are giving to them. So saying I help you be more conf confident so that you can live your best life is so vague and it's not really telling me much. It's not making me want to say, oh yeah, I need this. And here is a formula that you can follow. This is my framework this is the way I say my niche statement. Start with I help. I help. And then answer to all of these questions. Who? Do what? How? So that? Without? Here's my example. Like my niche statement. I help. Who? Coaches and online entrepreneurs. Do what? Plan their launches. How? With evergreen systems and strategies. So that they can scale to 10K months without social media or tech burnout. This way, if someone hears me say my niche statement or reads it somewhere, they have new questions about who do you help, how do you help, how do you do that, what do you do. So it's important that you actually answer to all of these questions when you're introducing yourself because that's the first attraction. That's where you actually attract the lead and that's where the first spark comes. So go ahead and make this frame yours and make your niche statement. Now, important, we said clear, we're still in the first tip. So if you do something like, I help, who? Females in between 20 to 50. Do what? Get confident. How? Um, by believing themselves. So that they can live their best life. Without worrying. Like this doesn't answer to any question. Any question, right? So, 
when you are following this framework and answering to these questions, make sure you're clear and specific. We're going to talk about this framework again. Okay. Tip number two. Don't be different. Have a difference. Two different things. I see a lot of new entrepreneurs make this mistake. They're trying to reinvent the wheel. They're trying to be different. So to be different, they, they're trying too hard, overthinking everything. Honestly, what works in marketing is to take something which is already proven and to make it yours. And you can't do this by being different, right? Because it's not validated yet. It's not proven. Unless you, you know, did a very thorough market research and saw the need and the demand and all of that. And it's a completely new product or service. Other than that, don't try to be different. That's why you're doing market research. To validate the idea, go and see what your competitors are doing. Don't copy it, but see what's working for them. See what is not working for them. Make it better and have a difference in doing this, right? That's the important thing. Not trying to be completely different. Okay? So when you look at the framework we talked about earlier with the niche statement is when you say I help and then you answer to these questions, who, do what, how, so that, without. The difference you make can be communicated with only one step of this niche statement. Okay. Maybe you're helping moms and everybody. There's so many people helping moms, right? Maybe you're helping moms um, achieve their fitness goals, right? And so many people are doing that. But the way you do it is different. Or, or that you are actually saving them something that they don't like doing, right? Um, or you may be giving them the same method as so many other people are given, so many different, you know, the same strategy. But the outcome is different. Or simply, the difference is in the um, uh, audience that you have. It's very specific, maybe. It's very, very niche. So by having only one of these, um, a different and appealing than what you see the most commonly in the market. When you see the gap in the market and, and just have that one difference, that's how you succeed. That's how you become successful. So don't try to be completely different. Try to have a difference. And... Tip number three, make them say yes, at least on one of the steps. Um, and again, this comes to being specific, right? Because if you look at the framework and answer to these questions, if while answering to these questions, if one of those things is making me say, oh, yeah. Or that's me, or I need that, or that happens to me. That one aha moment, that's, what, that's what's compelling them. That's what um, piques their interest, right? So think about that one thing that you want to make them say yes. It could be that your who is very specific, very niche, that they're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's me. Like, I don't know, people who want to be green without painting themselves, right? 
Uh, that's a terrible anal analogy. I don't know if there's such a thing. But you get what I'm saying. Like, it could be that, oh, yeah, that's me. Do what? It could be something very specific. That part may appeal me. You may be talking to, you know, really moms in between 25 to 50. But that do what part is very specific. That makes them want to say, oh, yeah. Or I want to do it. Oh, yes, right? So think about those things. When you are communicating your offer or communicating what you do and communicating um, your niche statement. Bonus tip, if you get, if when someone asks you about what you do and after you explain it to them, if you're getting more questions like, oh, how you do that? Or, oh, when do you do that? Or, or, or oh yeah, what is that? Or, things like that. Try to incorporate those commonly Ask questions that you get after introducing yourself or after talking about your offer or your business into your niche statement. Once you do that, it already is going to drive their interest, right? We're trying to make that first impact fast. So it's just like, it's just like your headlines, right? I always talk about this because I come from a PR background and for us, it's whether it's broadcasting commercials, whether it is the, the PPRs, like public um, press releases, or whether it is um, the articles on the paper. Headline is the most important. Why? Because that's what's going to capture and make you want to read the rest of it. So in this case, whatever content you're putting out, you have to grab their attention from the headline, from the hook, whatever you want to call it, title, subject line, whatever you want to call it. That first sentence, you say, the first sentence they read is what's going to make them keep on showing interest, meaning maybe reading it, maybe listening to you more or asking you more questions. Maybe it is... Um, watching you more, what have you. So think about those things. I help who, do what, how, so that, without. Answer to these questions and you have a perfect niche. Make sure to be specific. Don't try to be clever. Don't overthink it. I hope this information helped. Let me know if you like to work one-on-one -on, -one on your niche statement. Uh, we can do a quick session together and brainstorm. Have a good one.